Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the frame replacer node. And this is a DaVinci Resolve node available within Fusion and it is a studio version only. So let's just go ahead and jump into Fusion and we've got some media and uh, we're gonna pretend we've got some issues and we need to fix frame. So let's find a spot where we can see the difference. So let's go ahead and hit where she uh, claps right there. And let's say we need to fix this frame because there's a glitch in the uh, video or whatever reason you need to fix a frame. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in the frame replacer. We're gonna add it. And what the frame replacer node is going to do is it's going to use a specific frame that you select and it's going to use whatever frames before, after, or both to replace that frame. So if I'm on frame 32, all I have to do is go ahead and hit replace this frame. It's going to add a keyframe and then one before and one after it. So it knows where the before and after keyframes are. And our replacement method by default is set to blend previous and next. That means it's going to use the previous and the next frame to blend this frame together. So if we look at it, it looks like that. So we've got them blending together. Additionally, we can change our method to uh, from previous. So it's only using that previous frame and we can use from next. So it's only using the next frame. And additionally, we can use optical flow. So we can bring in an optical flow node and we can use optical flow data to fix that in between and it'll be a little smoother. So it's going to fix that frame in between using optical flow. If I change it to optical flow, now we can see it smoother. So we're using optical flow to change that frame. So that in a nutshell is the frame replacer node. But this node is also pretty cool because you can do different things with it. So let's go ahead and remove that and uh, we'll refresh this node. And uh, same thing, we're going to hit replace this frame. So now it's replacing that clap, but uh, we can actually go to another frame, add another keyframe, go to another frame and add another keyframe if we want. So now it's going to give you this weird glitchy type of switch. So, and you can add as many keyframes as you want. To get kind of weird and glitchy stuff. Or we could, if we really wanted to, let's go ahead and refresh this node and let's go back and add our little clap in the middle there. Let's replace that, but let's bring in our optical flow node and with our optical flow, let's select optical flow. We're going to go here, replace that frame. Let's go to the end. Let's add another keyframe. So now it will uh, morph from one shot to another instead of that uh, jerky glitchy thing. So it's a cool way to morph between frames if you want to morph between frames. So that is the frame replacer node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.